Well, so far, pretty damn good for Ian Machado. Gary in the big show. He came to the UFC in 2021 as the Cage Warriors champion, and he has done nothing but live up to, if not exceed the hype. Neil Magny, Daniel Rodriguez, Gabriel Green among the high-level scalps on his resume. But now the challenges get stiffer. And there are a lot of people that still want to knock Ian Machado Gary. They want to tap into his personal life. They want to question the commitment. The man's committed. Of that, I can assure you. And now training out of Brazil under Diego Lima. He is ready to show the world that he is the best at 170 pounds. So here's the budding UFC welterweight contender out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sean Brickhouse Brady. What a win over Kelvin Gaston late in 2023. And that got him back on a championship trajectory. There are not a lot of guys asking for this matchup. Many believe in terms of the pure grappling mixed with the wrestling, this is the best ground fighter in the entire UFC welterweight division. When the hands start to catch up with those skills, scary proposition for all of the elite 170 pounders. But a lot of fight fans and pundits agree. Eventually, Sean Brady is going to fight for a world title. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the future Ian Machado Gary! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, Philadelphia PA is on the map, courtesy of Sean Brady, one of the oncoming welterweight contenders in this division. He would tell you he's the most avoided guy in this division, but the opponent tonight had no problem signing on the dotted line. We'll see if Brady can get his wrestling game going early in this round tonight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand. Body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Just a slip there. So more output at least in the early going. And he blocks the shot there. Nice front kick there. Oh, nice. Nice. You hit him. Slips the punch. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Fighter blocks a punch. Slips the punch nicely there. Now mixing one into the body. 
You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. But now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Oh, nice right hand challenge. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that start to occur. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking them, rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Just over two minutes, round one. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Now a kick to the body. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Boom! Straight left hand. Nice target change with him attacking the body. Throws that deep and it lands. Slips the punch. Oh, they're trying huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Big shot to the head. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Slip that one. Brick House Brady's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Under 20 seconds now to go. Nice punch to the head. Final seconds here of round one. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. Here. Oh! Oh, my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Whoops on the straight right hand. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Left hand counter there. 
Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so comfortable in the striking before in his career, early. He looked a little bit lost. He looked like he was desperate to get takedowns. Now, he seems to be comfortable everywhere. So the work that they are putting in is truly paying dividends. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And oh my goodness, that's front left kick. That's front kick was nasty. Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Trying to set up that counterattack. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, not much set up behind it, the right hook misses. Brickhouse, Brady's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. All right, so not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this BJJ player. His ground game, you can argue, as good as anyone's in this division, yet he hasn't attempted a single takedown. Has not even attempted a takedown. I, I would never have expected this, John. I don't understand what is going on in this fighter's head. He needs to get the fight to his wheelhouse, and that is on the ground in the grappling. I don't know, man. Pride is a weird thing, and it seems as though he's fighting with pride tonight. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight. Big shot on the feet. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, the book on this fighter coming in. Outstanding takedowns. Vicious ground and pound. To what extent are you surprised that he hasn't even shot for a single takedown? To the point that I'm questioning his fight IQ and his ego. Because if you fight with your ego, you usually find yourself losing. Right now, he is putting himself in immense danger by not trying to get takedown. Well, no fear in that process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. 15 seconds. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, great block there. Shadow Gary's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage, and now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead. Ready to fight. Ready. Third, Third round underway. Nice jab there. Oh, and a nice counter there with the hook after he blocked the previous shot. And that one certainly found the target. 
just misses there with the left. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. All right, well that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of range with that right hook. Let's go. Keep pushing. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. A huge block there. Please, Missed with that attempt. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Counter jab, snaps the head back, that'll get his attention. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. In a ton of trouble right now. Just missed with the straight left hand. Very fast jab, Lance. We're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. you got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Nice counter left there. Strike lands clean. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to kill him. He's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Brady's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. And there's that jab. 90 seconds to go. Shadow Gary's shot is blocked. Well, I'm not sure if it's the fatigue, fear, if that's a factor at all, but his submission skills are so good, but he can't execute him if he can't get the fight to the ground. Got to get the fight to the floor. You cannot stand there and strike with a striker, especially when you're this good in the submission. Oh, good block there. Oh! Shadow Gary's carries, passes, denied. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Brady's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Come on, pop the jab, pop the jab. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Machado Gary's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. 
Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye, and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Beautiful uppercut there. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Oh! 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 Machado Gary's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot let go. Just take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangled tonight. I might run it back at some point no matter how this one is. it's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces the work that they have both put in you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon they're both hurt they're both beat up and both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Tonight. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage. Oh, no. oh nice right hand. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, doing work with the jab. He's found his range, but now he's in a rhythm, landing some nice, beautiful punches. Oh, look at that leg kick. Powers with a straight leg. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Under two minutes to go. So he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing aim. Oh! Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Now goes to the uppercut. Machado Gary's really taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. 
that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Machado carries limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Unable to land with that punch. Shadow Gary's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. Oh! That will do it! Holy smokes! Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the future, Ian Machado Gary! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also... Most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.